are there any EDC ingredients in topical medication? Um, I haven't read about that in your book. For example, you know, uh, as a TRT, a lot of guys are used to using testosterone cream or as a dermatologist, of course, um, I prescribe uh, cortisone creams, vitamin D creams for psoriasis, uh, for uh, dermatitis uh, each and every day. So are there any known endocrine disrupting chemicals in that kind of medication that you know of? And if this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe so you can learn more about fitness and nutrition, hormones and anti-aging, all this to optimize your life overall. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Oh yeah, sometimes. And of course my book was focused mostly on uh, daily exposures from, for average people, you know, just in personal care products, sunscreens, water. Uh, food items, you know, plants like phytoestrogens. But yeah, I mean, in these ex in these cases where people need to use these creams, there's quite often preservatives um, that that are potentially estrogenic. A lot of them are estrogenic. I like to look for the word benz, like B-E-N-Z, um, because those benzene molecules often trigger the estrogen uh, receptor. And, you know, there's a lot of those found in nature, you know, like strawberries make certain ben benz compounds, uh, ben benzene compounds, but they're real low quantity in the, in the natural products and our body is used to seeing those, but the artificial ones oftentimes trigger estrogen responses. Um, but it always goes back to the parabens. Those are probably the biggest um, source of artificial estrogen as a preservative. Um, in these in these creams and it's really counterproductive it's counterproductive if you're putting an estrogen on while you're trying to put a testosterone cream on sure, yeah so i definitely try and avoid it but it can be hard right i mean i've looked at a lot of them but i think there's the one called hrt base was the best one if i remember i think we had a conversation on your own uh you know the page that you lead there mm -hmm. on your own facebook uh you know page and and if I remember, it was testosterone base that didn't have any of those. And I looked through all the ingredients. You might remember more than I do about the specifics. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's my favorite one because there's a lot of options and all the other options did have some component that is an estrogen to some degree. And you know, the other aspect of it though is if you've done a really exceptional job of getting rid of all the other estrogen sources, you know, like you're not drinking from plastic bottles, <clears throat> you're not heating your food in plastic, your liquids in plastic, especially, <clears throat> and then you don't, you're not rubbing it on your skin with the personal care products. You can have a little bit of artificial estrogen and your body will clear it. No big deal. It's just, it's compounding when you have all these other sources and then you're adding it with your testosterone cream and then it's, is acting against the testosterone cream or something like that. That's a bigger problem. Is that testosterone, now we're speaking of it, uh, in any way uh, protecting you from these uh, estrogenic uh, EDCs? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's one of the reasons I think so many people get so many benefits from testosterone these days because I like to describe it like a CD. You know, people used to play music on CDs. <laughs> now they don't, so it's a bad analogy. but. Um, Back, back when we used CDs, you can scratch your CD, right? Mm -hmm. You've probably had this happen, and then you try and play music, and every time the CD spins in a circle, you hear that scratch, scratch, scratch sound. And that's what we're doing to our DNA. We're actually scratching our DNA. We're changing the marks on top of our DNA with these estrogen chemicals because estrogen goes into the cell, it goes into the nucleus, and it acts directly on the DNA, which not a lot of hormones do. But when you, quote-unquote, scratch the CD or you alter the marks on your DNA, it can be difficult to unscratch them, <clears throat> but testosterone helps. Testosterone is a great way to unscratch the CD, and that's why it's so beneficial these days, more so than 20 years ago even, or f especially 50 years ago, things like that, because it changes the marks on your DNA. So it's a long-term change in a beneficial way. 